Hey guys, what's up? How you doing? Hope you're all having a wonderful, wonderful day. Today we're gonna be doing, uh, well, maybe wrapping it up. Ooh, that's a tall order. But we've got a bunch of XP on our way. It's very easy XP. We basically haven't done anything in Northrend. And we're already level 74. Because I am a big cheater. But, uh... We're gonna head to Northrend now. I figure heading into Dragonblight is probably the best way to go about this. We'll, uh, oops, that's my water bottle. It's empty, damn it! I gotta get that fixed. Oh, wait. I also have a glass of water. Well, that's significantly more risky than a bottle of water. I'm going to do... Big brain. Mm, this isn't gonna work. Yeah, that's just not gonna work. We're just gonna put the glass of water far away and we will remember this for the future. Hey Clash, how you doing man? Hope you're having a wonderful, wonderful day. I did level my spells uh, before the stream. I'm sorry that you didn't see that. It was very exhilarating. I got Thunderclap, rank 2 commanding shout and look at how tanky we are, right? We're gonna pop this uh, commanding shout right here and boom, look at that. Not bad. Alright, we gotta learn how to use it. What? And there's also the daily RDF normal. We can give that a shot, if we can find some nice people, some couple of pumpers. I mean, you just really smash through it real quick. You don't get that much XP out of it, we got half a level when we did it, uh, like, yesterday, probably. But the thing is, you do get those emblems, and honestly, I don't really feel like questing. I don't know what it is, but, like, I'll do it, but if I can do anything else right now... That will still benefit me at level 80. Like these two emblems. And I don't mind giving that a good old... You know, giving it a good old thought. Weighing my options. So yeah, we got uh, for the Horde. In a little bit. In a couple of hours. Let's see if we can get a couple more levels before that. Because I do intend to do it on RDF Hero. I want to get Midsummer on this character. Ah, we've done all of the extinguishing. That's how we leveled up, actually. The rest of this is very easy. I'll figure this out. I'm sure someone who's done the achievement can give me a hint on how to do this. King of the Fire Festival is really easy. I could do it right now. I'm sitting on, well, just a little bit south of 500 Burning Blossoms, which will absolutely cover everything that I need by, like in terms of gear. Um. Oh no, this is the stealing thing. This is the thing where I need the gear. But yeah, basically the story that I just told. And Ice the False Lord, well, if it's still bugged, it is obtainable, just like a 1 in a 50 chance, for some reason. Perhaps they'll fix it by the time I get to level 80. Alright. Uh, there you are. What? Yeah, the damage at level 70 to 80 isn't that great from a protection warrior. It's very good early on, but at this point is when you start to 
not one-shot things anymore, which is sad. Oh man, I wish we could fly. I've got epic flying, but can't have the dome of cold weather flying yet, so can't even use it. Feels pretty damn bad. To the window, to the wall. Oh, my bitches growl. <laughs> oh, Jesus. There we go. You know what? I don't think I turned something on in the settings. Just give me one sec. Wow. And there we go. Boom. Alright, so we gotta go get that thing. I haven't really gotten the quest in Warsong Hold. Or whatever that place is called. I call all of the Horde cities. Or semi cities Warsong Hold because honestly, they basically are all Warsong Hold. It's always a big circle with like a bigger circular building somewhere around it. And then there's some wood in the ground. Not. Yeah, that takes forever. But the thing is, we're not getting killed, so that's good. Like, I didn't even use all of my cooldowns. I still got lifeblood. By the way, we should absolutely be trying to find some herbs. I think our herbalism is at like 400-ish or something. Yeah, we should keep an eye out on that. Maybe Zuldrak wouldn't be a bad place to level with all the Talandra's Rose over there. If I can get myself a nice stock of the Landras Rose, it wouldn't hurt my future alchemization either. Zuldrak though, I don't like leveling there, but I mean we really don't have to look at that level. How else? Like I definitely want to be able to pick up Adder Stung by the time that I get into Sholazar, because that'd be a real waste. If I can't pick up those other stungs if I walk past them, I'm gonna be like very sad. So where do we get herbs easily? Aren't there any plants that we could just kill and then herbalize? And then bada bing bada boom, I got myself some, uh, you know, stuff. Some herb levels. I guess we can try at that little area, the Seeds of the Lasher area. Haven't picked that quest up, but we'll do it in a bit. Zoldrak is great for Argent and Ebon Holdrap. True. 
But we're in a little bit of a weird situation where I have literally so much XP from the event that doing a couple of elites and heading into Ring of Anguish and then going for Sholazar is just such a good option right now. Like it's looking me smack dab in the face and I want to take it. Inside maggots! Oh, you fucked up, boy. You are about to get revenged. Like, no mode. These actually hurt, though. Maggots are dealing damage. That's no good. Let's pop a cooldown. More maggots! Y'all, I didn't think so. What? That's one. I always go for reputations while leveling. Yeah, it's a weird character. Going for reps is absolutely the right play, Suka. But I, honestly, I felt like I was sitting on level 68 and a half, right? After all those dungeons and a bit of outlanding. And I just didn't want to do Bori and Tundra. Not again. I didn't want to have to do the fucking geyser field again. I didn't want to have to pick up 15 crates of ammo. I was like, Ugh. But then came the brilliant idea of using Midsummer Event. However, that put us at level 74 and a half. Which is kind of weird. Fresh into Northrend at 74 and a half. Like, there's so many good quests that we can do. At this point. It's insane. Also, it is time for some... <laughs> Mad Alchemist... There's more than just one juju. That's the second juju that we've gotten. But this one doesn't stack with a potion. Weird. Huh. Uh oh. There we go, interrupt that right quick. We had some fire resistance earlier that stacked with the potion and the elixir. So, like... I was starting to get really excited about those jujus. I saw attack power, I was like, well, that's a hidden buff. But apparently it's not that big. We can just chill right there. Oh, we should have charged, actually. <laughs> He's a better warrior than me. Oh, you give me, like, any rage? There you go. What's the best enchant for an early game prot paladin tank, mongoose, or blade ward? Well, here's the thing. I think blade ward is really good if you want to be more tanky. I think that is honestly a better tank enchant than mongoose. But mongoose will give you the agility. That'll give you some uh, crit, some armor. Like, it's up all the time, but I think Mongoose is only superior on a Druid tank. Like, if you really want tankiness, I think Blade Ward on a Paladin is better. Uh, what I've done... Did I not get Dracor? Ah, oh, shit. What I did on my Paladins is that I have Mitrios, Bronze Beard Legacy, for oh shit situations, right? I cap out my expertise by equipping that. I got Blade Ward on it. That's for my, oh shit, I need to tank situations. But if I can survive easily enough, I can equip my Havoc instead. 2.6 swing timer, mongoose on that bitch. I'm gonna hit like a fucking truck, right? I'm gonna be able to generate much more aggro than with Mitrios, Bronze Beard's legacy. So I got two weapons, one for exceptional tanky situations with Blade Ward on it. And the other one for aggro has got mongoose on it. I think as a druid, Mongoose is obviously the best enchant. I think somewhere along the way, I don't know why, but... People just started using Mongoose as a D.O. to tank enchant, which honestly I think is really weird, unless you're a druid, of course. Because that armor, like, sure. I guess people just don't want to roll the dice. 
I fucking love rolling the dice. Give me Petrified uh, scale. You know, like... Petrified Twilight scale. Give me that dodge chance, man. I will fucking take it. I love that RNG shit. You're sitting there. Lich King is enraged. You just got your Arden procced. But your PTS Heroic also procced. Dodge. Dodge. Parry. Dodge. Uh-huh. Uh-huh. Bad trinket, huh? But you could also just get two shots. That is the game we play. When you play the game of RNG, you either win or you lose. No in between. PTS is not good in a beer. Uh, I think I'm uh, not or I am using it. Honestly, I honestly don't know. I'd have to check my beer. I don't remember what I argued for or against it been so long and i honestly do forget half the things if not more i forget a lot of stuff but i'm pretty sure i wouldn't mind pts on a bear either although Sindragosa's trinket is a must-have so you got one slot really i guess you could put uh, pts in there for some additional armor if armor isn't an issue, then you'll want some more stamina there. Alright, let's go ahead and pop a shield block. I'm Peruvian. Oh, I met some really nice Peruvian people in World of Warcraft. Alright, hold up though. I'm, I'm about to get my ass kicked. There we go, last stand, bitch. Odds. I forgot the spin for Midsummer. I could have had some XP bonus. Probably not double. I got a mage with engineering and jewel crafting as professions. Should I change jewel crafting to tailoring? Nah, they're about equally as good. Tailoring, though, can be better. Because <clears throat> you do get the rough same value out of the stats, right? In terms of spell power per minute, if you calculate it like that. But the thing with tailoring is that a bit sketchy if i just say more burst equals more damage you're gonna think i'm an idiot so i need to explain that a little but as a as a mage you have a bunch of damage modifiers bunch of crit modifiers you crit fucking hard right if you crit even harder you're gonna be critting even harder. I know this makes no sense to understand, but just hold on. Crit damage scales more or less exponentially. Right? So if you get your trinket and your tailoring cloak and all of your other damage things at the same time, because you've got crit damage modifiers, what would normally be a 10k hit now becomes all of that shit on top of each other plus crit damage modifier equals higher number than without all that shit on top of it and that crit damage modifier making that shit on top of it even better does that make any sense? stacking procs at the same time is good shit that's why, as a Retribution Paladin, you pop your wings when your SDS procs. That's why, as a Combat Rogue, you pop your Killing Spree when your DBW and SDS are procced. Right? Because at that point where you're going to be doing the most damage, you are going to be doing the most damage. 
I found that on the survival hunter, I'm using Bandit's Insignia right now. It is a questionable trinket at best. A lot of people will shrug it off instantly. I kind of did as well, but then I used it. And I realized that not only can this damage crit, but this damage can miss, which is a fuck you to this entire game, because that's spell hit rating, and I'm not gonna be scapping my spell hit rating, that's bullshit. But, um, this can crit, and this stacks with damage increases. Evan Plaguebringer. If I was a Frost Death Knight, my blood presence would boost this damage. If I put Black Arrow up, I do believe that... Well, shit, I can't check that. I don't think Black Arrow actually works like that. I think it's only on specific spells. But yeah, damage increases will increase the damage of Bandit's Insignia. So if this procs, when I got all the rest of my shit up, it's more damage. More damage equals more damage. It's a mindfuck and I can't explain it better than that. Could be good for announcement. If you're capping your spell hit, yeah, that Bandit's Insignia not missing would be very nice. My jewel crafting is 450. Oh, just keep jewel crafting. Jewel crafting, when you calculate it, is roughly equally as good as tailoring. It's just that I'm not sure if the crit damage modifiers and all that potential shit is calculated into people's math. I don't think I can calculate that. I don't even know if it's the right thing to calculate. I'm just saying that sometimes math is really hard and I don't understand it and I cannot explain it. But it makes sense. Somehow to me. Is it Shadowlands or Burning Crusade? This is um, Mists of Pandaria, the Warlords of Legion. Let me see if I can get some guildies. Oh, 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 I can herbalize these. Fuck yeah. Uh-huh, uh-huh, that's what I'm talking about. That is what I am talking about. Good. This is how we are gonna be leveling my herbalism. I'm just gonna guilt trip them all. Odds. It is some nice oblivion music. Weird shortcut? Oh, I, I was just going straight to the target. I wasn't thinking about shortcuts. Nah, we played ARMS last year. I'm gonna be playing Protection, but I'm not gonna be playing it much in raids. What I wanna do is just be an RDF hero. You know what? We can kill these. Get a little bit of herbalism going.
I'll keep my jewel caps in them, but I feel like sometimes the bonuses do damn little. Well, the thing is, jewel crafting is amazing for gearing. I'm not sure if you're playing on Ice Crown or where you're playing at the moment, but whenever you're gearing, being able to swap a Dragon's Eye spell power to a Dragon's Eye hit rating, or when you're PvPing, you can have some Dragon's Eye spell penetration. Now that is some serious fucking versatility. Jewel crafting is more about that. It is still the best passive stat in the game as well. It is just really good to have. If you already got it at 450, do not change it. You will be regretting it. Oh, yikes. Let's go ahead and get a shield block up. There's the level up, just as I'm incredibly low HP. Oh, interesting. I don't think I want to do that. Crusader is 100 strength. Or it should be a little bit less now that I'm higher level, but... That is interesting that I'd get a tank weapon. The warming gods are among us. Is it uh, true that the worst tank in Votluck is Prot? Yeah, but you gotta be... You gotta be really, like, paying attention to how you say that. It is the worst tank. The worst does not instantly mean that it's bad. Now, I'm not saying that it's good in all situations. There are some situations where a warrior tank is simply not that great. Like, you wouldn't have a warrior tank OS 3 Drake. Sartarion, right? You wouldn't do that. You'd get a paladin to do that. Um, but you can definitely make it work, and I think that, uh, let's get Hydro invited, and there we go. That should be good. Is there any more bird? I think I need one bird. There we go. How is it from your experience? I don't want to invite a protection warrior to ICC 25 heroic. But I would really like to invite a fury warrior to ICC 25 heroic with an offspec tank. So that if some shit happens, you've got a real option right there. You can make it work, it is just not the best option. If you take a tank death knight, you cover a lot of utility. And... That's the kind of utility that Warrior doesn't really bring to the raid in Prot. 10% attack power, that's like a marksman thing. If you don't have a marksman hunter or you don't have an enhancement shaman, the DK tank will, be, will, bring, will bring that to the raid for you. Same with the melee attack speed. That means that the DK tank is covering a lot of shit. Right? You can work around that. You can, you can say... We're not gonna take an Enhancement Shaman, we're not gonna take a Frost Death Knight. We are going to take the DK tank to provide the attack speed bonus. And then, instead of a Frost DK and an Enhancement Shaman, you invite two Best in Slot Mages. Right? That way, you increase the raid's DPS. A Protection Warrior there doesn't provide that kind of utility. If you put a Bear tank in the Protection Warrior's place, you get an Innervate, you get a Battle Res, you get Mark of the Wild in case you really need that. Once again, out utilitying the Warrior. Don't even get me started on Potbala, it's a fucking joke if you compare it. It's just... Let's start with... Blessings, Hands, Leon Hands, Divine Sacrifice. Warrior does not touch any of that. 
Now, it doesn't I'm not trying to say that Warrior cannot do anything. Because I do think they can do a lot. But... Hey, oof, this is good for leveling. God damn. Let's get that. A Warrior has Shockwave. A Warrior has Piercing Howl. This makes them... These two things make them one of the best add tanks in the game. Warriors also have Thunderclap, which is a good attack speed slow on AoE. Warriors also have Shield Block. There is a lot of situations in this game where adds are going to be misdirected and tricks of the trade to the warrior tank, right? We're all gonna funnel them on top of the warrior tank. You're gonna stand here, you're tanking them, but you're not tanking them. Do you want to know why? The moment that they stack up, boom, stunned for 3 seconds. 2, 1, they're unstunned. Shield block, 10 seconds, full immunity. If your block chance and block value are high enough that you don't get hit, you are actually immortal. Right? There is no tank. Paladin tank can come close, but if there's a lot of adds, the redoubt, the holy shield, they're gonna take away way too quickly. There's no tank in this game that can do that. Except for maybe a false decay tank if he uses his uh, AoE stun, but then you cannot touch them. If shit goes wrong, and the wire tank is in charge of this situation, area of effect on. Boom. Sold. In that regard, Warrior Tank is the best. Anyway. Let's prepare ourselves for a really tough fight. I'm not even sure we can do this. You see that shield block? That's almost full on immunity. And now we just gotta survive until we get our next shield block. Can we disarm this O? Hey, it's Sweezak. Let's go. Alright, we're good now. I think I could have been able to solo this though. We're getting really lucky with parries and dodges and misses at the moment. That could have absolutely turned. Yeah, look, we are taking a lot of damage when we do take damage. But I think I might have had a fair chance. Thoughts? A friend of mine just bought double last laughing shop for 30 coins. Just to be best with the Wilton Holy. Two weeks away from Ulduar. What an idiot. You know, not to be exceptionally rude, but if he had just waited a little longer. I guess you'd only have two more weeks to be best. There's also that. Alright, it's not actually an RDF, just a bunch of guildies. Two quests. We shouldn't be taking a lot of damage here, but let's give it a little bit of a check. Alright, we're taking a fair bit of deeps actually.
All right, I got shield walled up in preparation for this. We're gonna AoE Tom. There we go. I'm disarmed. All right, that's fine. And let's go Piercing Owl. Let's keep that up in case we get... There we go. Let's get that last stand up. Let's kill a couple of them. Oh, right. I found one in Zangar Marsh. I was just like chilling and I got a single one of them, so take it. That's not the worst time to get stunned. Alright, let's also go ahead and give the level 80. I am Roch here, let's go ahead and give him some Vigilance. So he'll be the one pulling aggro most likely. Even through tricks. Uh, maybe we can do an epic play. No. But yeah, you see that? I could theoretically almost infinitely guide these with just a piercing howl. Like, ads aren't shit to a protection warrior. You are literally their daddy. But you know, then the the then the si the seven feet two actual father of these things shows up, aka the raid boss, and he just puts you down. You forgot the quest? Which one? The weapons. I uh, there's some more opportunities to grab them. I usually just uh, let the other people grab the first few. And if I forget, it's fine. I'm sure we're gonna do this dungeon again. In fact, not having to go to that place and not having, like, two things in my bag. If we do get XP... Let's see, how about... Ooh, a necklace! Oi, oi, oi! Dios mio, that's very good! Alright, let's make sure that we loot some weapons. this guy. Let's go ahead and shield flam that. I can totally sit in the bombs. It'll give me some more rage. That's good stuff. And the level 80 is not gonna die to that. Uh, he just has too much HP. Nothing to worry about for the melees, really. What's the name of the add-on that makes spells glow on a certain condition? Do I have that? Um, it's probably cheese. I don't think I have that though, but um, I might. I don't know. It's. I feel like that's uh, something that retail does for you, just you know, for free. Like you just kind of get that. Lol. They just buffed Galaset, and he still doesn't care.
How is the spell of like not spell reflecting? What a scam. That is a big dagger. I saw that on some videos in the past. Hmm. It might be that certain spells do that, or that when I was playing BFA that you saw that or something. I don't really... I'm sorry, I'm kind of blanking. I don't think I have such a thing. Ow, it's this pussy pool. Let's go ahead and pull a few more. Disarm him, he'll take 10% more damage. What? I keep forgetting that I have that. It's not a good thing. I think it's a cheese saddle. Yeah, it really does sound like cheese. And if it isn't, then cheese will provide it for you. Like a very, very similar experience. There's the death trip. Good job. Let's go get the shield block up. Actually need that pants. There we go. I just got like a thousand armor. I was using some shit before. Nice and thank you. Look at that. 14k HP. Still pretty much unbuffed. Just parry that. There we go. Shield, shield, a slam. All of the the freaking buffs that they put on each other. Warrior is actually so much fun. Like shield slamming stuff away. I think that no other tank can do that. Pretty sure. So. That, that's something that the warrior can do, but this once again doesn't apply to the raid bosses. Like, you don't really remove buffs from raid bosses ever, and if you do, it's because someone who got mind controlled put some buffs on the raid boss, and you know, in those fights, you can just have a perch or a spell steal. That's fine. It's just 
it feels like the protection wire isn't made to tank a raid. They got too much good shit that they don't get to use in raids. Final cold weather flying. It doesn't exist yet. The dome of cold weather flying is implemented in Uh DLC, I think. Maybe Ulduar. But we'll get cold weather flying at level 77 as we normally would. Alright, let me just play it safe and grab this one as well. Ah, uh, we're not pulling. Boo. Hello. Oh. The wrong thing, but I got this belt. I need to, I really need to vend or some shit. I'm throwing away gold right now. Doesn't feel very good. No spinny boy for you. clipped if only i had some kind of hand that could give me some freedom of movement that'd be pretty pog oh the cheap shot it's a bit unlucky oh how were we standing in that that is that is not correct man i was not inside of that Can you stop? There you go. Give you a concussion. What? Oh, hold up. There we go. Ah, 
Uh, thank you for the subscription. I'll get to you. Oh, this is just such a piece of cake. Let me get to you now. Christopher Christensen, thank you for the subscription, man. I appreciate that. What class? Are you playing in Butler Classic? I'm not gonna be playing Butler Classic as of now. Because of you? No, I just don't really feel like going for that. I'm fine on Warmain. I've always been fine here. It's not like that I'm like a like a pro private server guy. I just honestly don't give a fuck about any of that. I just wanna sit here, play my video game. And if I if I can like, I don't know, stream at the same time, that's free stonks. Take that. Hoppa. I guess he really wanted it, and the man got it. Alright, let's get the uh, heckles out of here. Alright, it's a good thing that you're here, because I'm gonna want your help for um, a couple of those bosses. I don't think I can kill them. I think I can tank them, but like, that's it. If I can't kill them, then, you know, you're not gonna get very far just tanking something. Eventually, I'll die. The lack of self-sustain is gonna be a very noticeable. Do, 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 do. No. Just some um, four gold here. Alright. Let's get out of here. Uh, come to Hourglass. We've got some serious help, so Hourglass should be a piece of cake. Are people already leaving warming? You have a hard time finding 25 heroic. I'm not sure about Ice Crown. Uh, where are we? Oh yeah, right, we're on Falsemorn. <laughs> I haven't been playing any Ice Crown recently. I've just been on Falsemorn, so honestly, I have no idea how it is there. But yesterday, I needed to bug a couple of people to fill up the Obsidian Sanctum 25 to Drake third run. So what I did was I put a thing on Global and in Drake Chat, and I got like... At least 20 whispers. Like my whisper message box just exploded, man. So, uh, at least on Frost Morn, there are still plenty of people. Hey, Florin, how you doing, man? Hope you're having some wonderful day. Ooh, this is very luck. Um, not only do we get to save the Boomkin, but we also get to get this uh, credit. All we have to do is be near it when it starts talking. And I think we can do that. Uh, invite... What the fuck is his name? I think it's good though, I think you get it. Oh, well, I don't get it? Yeah, I did also get it. Uh, 
All right. All right. All right. Habla español. <laughs> he did his best. I think he's fine. But uh, he should absolutely just stay in the party. Alright, we got a whole ass group. Wanton Warlord should be piece of cake. And... 76 after completing this. Yo. Nice to catch the stream. How are you doing, Umbra? Just as I put the Oblivion music away, Umbra shows up. That's not correct. You should have been here a little bit earlier. Well, we are going to be level 76, so that's going to be going pretty well. How about that professional warrior play? What? I'm basically just a rogue at this point. Full on CC boys. Oblivion OST is great. Yeah, for sure. The first time I found a certain guy or woman, I honestly don't know what it is, called Umbra in a, uh, a Welkin dungeon or whatever it was, like an ancient ruins from the Welkin people. Oi, oi, oi. Did I die a couple of times? I was a stupid kid, of course, horribly underleveled. Playing on very easy and still dying. Well, I learned to get good at Oblivion. Eventually, I made a Khajiit character that focused on punching people. And I got to like level 50, and then the game started to scale in a way that punching people was not an option anymore. That was a bit disappointing. Level 70 and 6. Ush, ush, ush. All right, we didn't do the hourglass. That's a bit of a mystic XP. I don't think I want to do the obsidian dragon shrine. We are going to be very, very scuffed in terms of reputation, but honestly, RDF hero doesn't need this kind of shit. He's fine without it. And I think we might be able to pick up the Wormrest tabard regardless. Yeah, it's on neutral that you can get the tabard, lol. We're fine. We're just gonna get a couple of tabards and we're gonna get a 
ton of RDFs done. I wish I had a way to break fall damage. I don't. Oh no. These bags are such a fucking mess. Like, some of the stuff is even good, that's the problem. So I just vendor it. Ugh. My heart earned potion! Oh no, feels bad to vendor. There, let's get rid of that big bear meat though. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> oh, my weed. Just get rid of that, honestly, what the... Alright, oil of immolation is a thing. Alright, let's get that out of here. So there's two quests in Howling Fjord. I feel like I might want to do that when I get uh, cold weather flying. If we can just do Ring of Anguish and... After that, like, I'll take a little bit of a break. Then we do the Naxamas raid. That should be pretty good. That should definitely put us at level 77. Very, very easily. We're gonna have to ride there, though. Can we get a Pajit character? No, a Khajit. A Khajit. Well, Keen, that word brings back so many memories. Yeah, you got the Collector and the Ancient Well Keened. And the King of the Well Keened. Oof. Oblivion was such a, such a, such a game. I cannot play through it anymore because I know too much about it. And every attempt that I make at playing that game just feels like a very watered down experience. I've just played it too much. I know too much about it, but... God, if you've never played Oblivion, what are you doing? Buy it for like 5 euros on Steam. Get the full enhanced, the deluxe, ultra deluxe Bethesda Softworks Zenimax Plus Edition. All the DLC. Most of it is good, except the horse armor. Do not buy the horse armor. I will actually kick you out of the guild if you buy horse armor. It's like literally the first ever DLC scam. Would you recommend Frostmourne to a, a person looking to play Ice Crown right now? Or like just not like private servers? Yeah, I think it's still good. You might be worried that you're a bit late. Which, well, yeah, you kind of are, but it's not too late. And there's still plenty of RDF heroics and whatnot going on. Good Lord Ron or Ice Crown be better. Well, the thing is, you might want to just go on Ice Crown to begin with, 
and see if you like the game. There's gonna be a couple of things you don't like, I already promise you that. Like, your social experience might be very, very bad. It happens to a lot of people that, you know, they're like, a uh, little bit shocked by the community. But there are good guilds, and there's plenty of fun people as well. They're just not the loudest on a private server. You always got the loudest assholes, you know, that you're gonna hear first. But, yeah, besides that, honestly, pretty good experience. What? He just leapt. But my bodyguard's taking care of it. It's all good. Yeah, you might want to just try Ice Crown for a bit. And if you really enjoy it, hop into a Frostborn a fresh server next year. I'm sure that there's going to be another Frostborn. Once you understand a bit more about the game... That's probably when you want to give a Frostmourne a shot. Alright, let's get Bumble. Can I please right-click Bumble? Come on, mouse. There we go. Hmm. You know what? We should go ahead and pick up these quests right quick. While we're waiting for Bumble to get here. Nice. Got a bunch of help. Amazing. While we're waiting for them to come here. There are some very easy quests. We've got the uh, Suizak with us as well. So let's go ahead and pick up Rage Main's thing. Uh, in search of answers. Yeah sure. And this one. There we go. So we just walk up there, we click the skull, we uh, do a little bit of fire extinguishing, and then we check a rage main. Super short quest should still provide a good amount of XP. Look at all this. Check this. Oh wait, I can actually... Oh, that's the wrong auto clicker. It's not really auto-clicking as hard as I was hoping it would. But there we go. It's stacking up, we're at 8. There you go. That's how you become a real firefighter. Easy quest. Rage main is being... It's trying to be killed. Oh my god. Go, 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 go. We gotta attack that. Is this bug? I think we got it. Hell yeah. Now it's evading. Let's not have that happen. Alright. Fuck yeah! There we go! Yo, that's big XP. I'm deciding what to alt in Wrath. Is it true that beer tanks are terrible? No, not at all. My friend says there's almost, zi almost zero on Warmain. Yeah, but what friends say is very often their opinion and their perspective and their experience. I can tell you that there are beer tanks on Warmain. And I can tell you that, honestly, endgame raiding wise, they feel the most tanky. And I can tell you that from a healer's perspective. That is not a bad sword, let's actually pick that up. There we go, look at that, this 40% uh, XP, right quick, didn't take a whole lot of time at all. 
I think we're gonna have to say goodbye to the Battle Worn Trash Blade though. Nah, fuck that. I'm not ready to say goodbye. How was the Beer Threat? Beer Threat is. Well, that's probably their weakest part. They've got like two major weaknesses, I'd say, and one of their weaknesses is Threat. The other one is magical damage. They don't handle both of these things all that well, but they handle them well enough. You can Fairy Fire and Maul. You can Glyph of Maul so that your Maul hits two targets at once. For triple targets, you've got Berserk with Mangle Spam. And you can, of course, always drop some Fairy Fires in between those Mangles. For five plus targets or four targets, I guess you got Swipe. Swipe is really fucking bad. If you have to swipe, then you need to also have a hunter or a rogue there. Either with misdirection or tricks of the trade. Because swipe isn't meant to establish aggro, it is meant to sustain aggro. There's no way that you can hold off a seed of corruption spamming warlock with only swipe. It just isn't gonna work. That is a weakness that the bear brings to the raid. But that is not a weakness that the Warlock shouldn't be able to work around. Right, your Warlock can just chill the fuck out for a little bit. Your Warlock can also just uh, not AoE and instead single target. Ah, yeah, yeah. Am I gonna have to turn on my Insta Quest add on? I thought Swipe was good now in Wrath. It's alright. But you can't just run into a pack of ads and expect to tank a Blizzard from a Mage by only spamming Swipe. Usually what you want- oh, okay, I'm gonna turn on fucking Insta. Be right back. <laughs> what you wanna do is look at a fight, right? You've got a pack of enemies. There's a shamanistic enemy who is gonna be casting because that's what he does in that dungeon. There's a couple of melee DPSers and there's like, I don't know, some, some like fucking hunter or something. That caster is probably not going to be a, a threat that kills people. He's just going to be a support. So you don't really have to worry about your threat on him. Like, sure, if you lose aggro to him, it's not a good thing. But it's not like someone's going to get killed by him, probably. Now, those melee guys, on the other hand, they're the dangerous ones. Ah, fuck. I don't have it installed on this client. I could do that, but let's just see if we can get any better at clicking the thing. Motherfucking Conker Boomkin. Conker Macholtje. This kind of people literally. Fuck them. Oh my god, okay, I'm, I'm gonna just fuck this shit. I'm getting that add on. Give me a second. Like, that cancer right there where they're starting to settle. Like, no, 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 no. Where is that insta questing? Please tell me I still got it somewhere. What was it called? Well, that's not happening, dude. That is just a cancerous experience. I'm not gonna sit through that. Just give me a sec to find this fucking old ass folder. Like, I got a new client. Which I didn't put all of my add-ons in, and that was a bad idea, apparently. But I know I got the map somewhere. Maybe it's still in my Discord. That'll be a lot easier to find. Griffin remover, the bum. 
Auctionator, Attack Bar, Wards. Need to know. Questomatic, there we go. Let me just extract it, put it into the folder. What? Nice wallpaper. I know, right? Alright, let me go ahead and hide the screen. So I don't get ultra hacked by you guys. By you big brain hacker boys. Alright, do it work though. Where's Questomatic? There it is. Bop. Now we should be the undisputed king of pressing a damn quest. A look at that. That you see, this is the natural evolution of people like standing inside of that thing. It just gets worse and worse. It's just not a good fucking time at all. That's why I got so upset because I I knew this is next. Like, look at this fucking cancer. Ay ay ay. This is not video gaming. Okay, it's skip it needs to skip info thingies. Skip greetings. There we go. Now it should be for all intents and purposes instant. There we go. I fucking hate people, man. I hope I'm in range to deliver that. Okay, someone took it already. At least one of them did a blood off, so that's done. There we go. <laughs> Dumbass Mildred and I. Looks like a nightmare right now. It's not even that bad right now. It's just that, like, I... I I literally wouldn't be bothered to do this. Like, if I got here and I was alone and I hadn't asked for help yet, I would have said, Alright, fuck this shit, I'm gonna do this later. But I already asked for help, so... I can't just, you know... Not... All right. Let's not have, like, you guys die. That's pretty ridiculous. And uh, this motherfucker. Like, literally, is this considered griefing, Malako? Because I am fine with you giving him a permanent ban. That kind of, like, I despise that. I just abso fucking lutely I would rip his god damn jaw off his fucking face had he stood in front of me like that is cancer incarnate like literally if you if you see this as a gm you should tp this guy away three times does he do it after the third time perma ban him 
Literally, just do it like that. That is just eight. And you know what? If he wants to be like this, fine. Go fuck off to some gypsy server where, where they actually want people to stand on NPCs. Because this, oi oi oi. Fucking eights. Just make it a no mount zone, like for real. They do that shit in retail for a fucking reason. I just made that whole fucking Colosseum a, a no mount zone. Like, don't they do that in Gurubashi? I don't have that bind because I removed that bind because that bind will literally fuck you up in level 8. But, like, no man. Just get the fuck off. There you go. Like, literally, thank you, Elemental Lord. I have been waiting for someone to do that. Like, dude, this... This is like... I mean... Do I need to explain it more? I think the anger sh just fucking, like, speaks for itself. It's so annoying. That's it, just. It's just annoying. It's like some fucking two-year-old is spoiling the goddamn movie that you're trying to watch. That level of annoying, like, ugh. What's the best pack for a hunter to level on botluck? Well, that really depends on how you play a hunter. There's no, like, one answer. Alright. If you like the pet, you can use Beastmaster. If you uh, want to place a bunch of traps, survival is probably like generally considered the best one. But if you got like a full set of heirlooms, just go Marksman. Alright, let's just uh, ignore what happened there. Guess I'll have to summon him again, huh? Ay, 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 ay.
Hey, listen, it's very fucking simple. You go and you make this a, a no mount zone. It's very fucking simple. Not that hard. Because this isn't fun. Ay ay ay. They're gonna be taking a goddamn century to clear that as well.
See how much less cancerous that is? When there's no fucking degenerate sitting on top of that thing. Like, you see how much less aggravating that can be? Just make that a fucking no-mount zone. Like, how hard can that be? This whole thing. Just make it a no-mount zone. Let's get out of here. Fucking area. What's the best elo on all of Ratluck? Well, there is uh, a video I made about that. But it's definitely not a holy priest. You're just gonna have to check the video for the rest of the answers. Oh, yeah. Alright, let's go ahead and get that axe, probably, or the spear. No, no, no. The staff sells for 16 gold. What? Alright, now, let's get the fuck out of here and take a break before the uh, raid begins. Is it too late to start in Season 3 now? We got like a level 30 Shaman? Nah, that's fine. You can totally do that. The thing is... After Midway Ulduar is when I expect to be uh, the biggest drop of players to be. So you got a little bit until that. But even after that, you should be able to uh, do some stuff. Um, we should go ahead and level our spells real quick before we forget. There's that increased cleave damage. And... Yeah, I don't know what else to get when leveling, to be honest. Maybe just some focused rage, to be honest, for leveling. Might be worth it. Just a little bit more rage efficiency. Revenge is gonna cost like two rage. It's gonna be great. Alright, good luck with the Midsummer uh, Umbra. Enraged regeneration. Hell yes. We gotta make a macro for that. Cast, modifier, shift, life, what is that one word, life, blood, and enraged regeneration, there we go, put that right there, now we've got all the shift buttons, oh yeah, we got some serious healing with enraged regen and a life bloom that's a fair bit. And you know what? I'm not sure what the third glyph is gonna be. It's probably gonna be shield wall or last stand or something. I believe there's one of those. Or even shield block. Yeah, definitely shield block. We gotta get rid of one of these too. Anyway. We'll see that then. First things first. Let's take a little bit of a break. And when I come back, we'll get some... For the horde done. Let's go ahead and release all this pent up aggression against them alliances. But also. Um, I can go ahead and send over some gold. Get cold weather flying. And just in the break. I'll deliver Ingvar and disarmament. Because I can literally just turn on auto fly. And it's gonna be there. Are you gonna tank raids with this warrior? Some small ones, sure. If someone needs to do like an EOE 10 or something, I should be able to handle that. But I'm not gonna be tanking main runs with that. Oh no. It's always nice having an option there as a tank, but... 
It's mostly just for RDF. I mean, just fuck's sake, look at his name. Alright. We sold some heavy bullion armor kits. Ice skill armor leather. Yep, there we go. Alright. Lots, 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 lots. You got scammed on this, the staff. You eat into a single lesser essence. Wow. Unlucky. Well, at least I got one lesser essence. There we go. So yeah, I'm starting to stack up some cash again. I got some arctic fur in the bag. Looking good. Let's send over a fair chunk of money so that we can set up the character at level 80 as well. Alright, now to get back to Dalaran. There we go. Unstuck that character. What? Hmm. Oh shit, we got to level 77. We can do one more thing. I'm not sure if I can craft it. I Yeah, here it is. Indestructible Alchemist Stone. Look at that bad boy. Let's see if anyone has that on him, that I can just buy from him. But first of all, we are buying Cold Weather Flying. What? Um, I think I'll go ahead and make some food real quick, and I'll be right back with the Naxxramas and the For the Horde Raid. I'm uh, gonna deliver these two quests off stream. Just gonna set Auto Flying right there. That should be about fine, and I'll see you guys in a little bit. I'll, uh, yeah, good luck, Abdul. I'll see you guys uh, in an hour or two. Thank you for watching, and bye-bye.